Hi, and welcome to our YouTube channel. This is How to Unlock Spanish, and I'm Ithiar. In today's video, we are going to explain how to use ser and estar, and we are going to do a lot of exercises, and we are also going to explain the most the demonstrative, like este, esta, estos, estas, these and these, ese, esa, esos, esas, that and those, together with aquí, here, and allí, ahí, there, and we are going to try to do it as fast as possible. We are teachers and tutors specialized in beginners. If you are learning Spanish and you are a beginner, this channel is for you, so please don't forget to subscribe. Also, please like the video if you want us to make some more similar videos like this one, and please visit our grammar and learn section in www.howtounlookspanish.com for grammar, revision, exercises, and Spanish tips. So let's dive in. To be or not to be? Okay, Hamlet had a big dilemma, but any English person or any person that speaks English and tries to speak Spanish is going to have really a very big dilemma with ser and estar. In fact, ser and estar is one of the tricky grammar issues you are going to face when you are learning Spanish. But I think if we really face the issue right from the beginning, it's going to be easier to choose and to use in the future. So when do I use ser and when do I use estar? We use ser in Spanish when we try to describe how things are in the, in the essence, like we try to define things or people and say, who they are or what they are in essence. It's not saying, for example, like I am tired, because that's not your essence, it's just what you are today. For that one, we have to use yo estoy cansado, yo estoy. We use estar. We use ser to say, for example, I am Spanish. That defines me, really, because it changes a lot who I am. Yo soy profesora. It also defines me as a person. Is telling which group I belong to. Is trying to define me against all the things in the world, all the people in the world. So we use ser when we are comparing things to others. We are trying to define in which kind of set you will. You, you, you are, in with what kind of set you belong to. When we use a star, we are saying, we are describing how things are but in a circumstantial way. It's not that it's temporal, because sometimes we use a star to say things that are very permanent, but it's circumstantial because it doesn't define who you are. It really doesn't. It's like saying, for example, where you are. So, yo estoy en Londres is answering to the, to, the, um, to the question where. It's not answering like who you are or it's not defining something. It's just saying where you are. Um, the mood, like we said before, like I am tired. Today I am sad. If it's only today that you are sad, we are going to use a star. We are going to say yo estoy cansado, eh, triste, perdón. But if you want to say, I'm a sad person, I'm going to say, yo soy una persona triste, because that defines me as a person, because I'm normally sad. If you are only circumstantially sad today, because something made you sad, you are going to say, yo estoy triste. So, estar is like comparing yourself to your own self in other uh, moment, in, in other day, like, for example, hoy estoy triste, today I'm sad, but I'm not normally sad. So you are comparing yourself to yourself. You are not comparing yourself to others, like when we use ser. And then there is another use we normally uh, use estar for, which is estoy comiendo, for example, o está comiendo, él está comiendo. We are using a star to say what we are doing. Really, this in the, doesn't define us, so it's not the essence of things. 
it's not the essence of people so that's why we use a star so let's start using it and today in this video we are going to compare the use of location like where things are to the use of the essence of things what things what th things are let's practice and you'll see how this is not so difficult to get and unlock so first we are going to conjugate ser and estar ser is a very regular verb in the present estar is only irregular in the first person so only yo is irregular in estar and it's an adverb as you can see so when i say i am i may say yo soy i am so if i'm describing who i am like my essence i would say yo soy yo soy española for example you are tú eres tú eres español he is she is él es o ella es we may say él es un hombre he's a man ella es una mujer she is a woman we are nosotras nosotros somos you are plural vosotros vosotras sois they are ellos ellas son and for star we just said star is regular but it's only a little irregular in the yo person so we are going to say yo estoy for example yo estoy en londres and the rest is going to be regular. Tú estás, ella está o él está, nosotros estamos, vosotros estáis, ellos están. In order to do this exercise, we are also going to learn how to say here, aquí, there, allí, aquí, allí. Let's start practicing. We are going to say now, I am here. I am here in Spanish is yo estoy aquí. It's estoy because it's location. I'm saying where I am. And it's aquí because it's here. You are here. Tú estás aquí. She is here. Ella está aquí he is there él está ahí or él está allí they are there ellos están ahí or ellos están allí they are here ellos están aquí they are there ellos están ahí or ellos están allí we are here nosotros estamos aquí she is there ella está ahí or ella está allí they are there they are there ellos están ahí or ellos están allí as you can learn in a different video where we talk about the articles the and a ah, so el la los las and un una unos unas uh, you can find this video in the link we wrote in the description of this video the articles always give some information. So there was adding some information saying it's a particular thing. So el la los las is saying this is a particular thing. Eh, un, una, unos, unas was saying it's any. So it's not no one in particular. So now we are going to learn different articles. We are going to, to learn este, esta, estos, estas, which is the same as this or these and ese, esa, esos, esas, which is the same as that or those. What kind of information are these articles adding to uh, our noun, 
the noun they go together with. They are adding information about the distance, where things are in a distance. Are they here? We will use these or these, este, esta, estos, estas. If the things are there, we will use that or those. So we will use ese, esa, esos, or esas. Can you see, like, they are very similar, only that that or those, ese, esa, esos, esos is the same as este, esta, estos, estas without the T? For the following examples, I just wanted to remind you, if you are going to describe what something is or someone is, use ser. If you are going to describe where things are, you will have to use estar in the uh, form you need to use, depending on who you are talking about. Okay, so if we are going to say he is a man, yes, we will say él es un hombre. If we want to say she is a woman, yes, ella es una mujer. Let's translate this man is here. Este hombre está aquí. Because now we are talking about location. Este hombre está aquí. So we have to use este to go with hombre because hombre is masculino and singular. So we choose este because he is here and is this and not that. This woman is here. Esta mujer está aquí. Esta because is femenino and singular. And we use esta because it's location. So is is going to be esta. Can you see that esta and esta, they look the same, but it's a coincidence, right? It's a coincidence, but yes, this feminine is the same as estar in the third form. She is here. Esta mujer, ella está aquí. That man is there. Ese hombre está ahí, or ese hombre está allí. Ese, masculino, singular, to say there, to indicate that is far in a distance. That woman is there. Esa mujer está ahí, or esa mujer está allí. Those men are there. Esos hombres están ahí. Or esos hombres están allí. Esos because it's men, is plural and is masculine. And están because it's plural. We do have to use estar because it's location, but choose están because it's they are there. These women are here. Estas mujeres están aquí. Estas. Femenino, plural. Those women are there. Esas mujeres están ahí. Or, esas mujeres están allí. This is a table. Esta es una mesa. This is esta, and we have to say es because we are saying where a table is. We are not saying where it is. This table is here. Esta mesa está aquí. Now we do use estar because we are saying where it is. This is a hat. Este es un sombrero. This hat is here. Este sombrero está aquí. 
That is a cup. Esa es una gorra. That cup is there. Esa gorra está ahí. Those are cups. Esas son unas gorras. Those cups are there. Esas gorras están ahí. So this is the end of this video. Don't forget to like it if you want us to make more similar videos. I, we hope that this video really helped you with Ser and Estar and with the demonstrativos. If you want to learn more about Spanish grammar or tips, please subscribe to our channel. You can also visit our grammar section or learn section in www.howtounlockspanish.com for grammar revision exercises and exam tips if you are preparing for an exam. Don't forget that in the link added in our description, you can buy our workbook with all you need to know about beginner's level. And for example, you can find some exercises with these drawings we just saw in this video. We also have some flashcards. Thank you for learning with us and I look forward to seeing you again in our channel.